Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k uh, Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on uh, the hardest difficulty, Unfair. Matter of fact, uh, even harder than Unfair because we cranked everything up to the absolute maximum uh, to still make it a challenge. We're going to go into Quest uh, quest uh, temper, uh, Teamer this time. Uh, I checked the other bunker uh, where we left off the last time and we've already explored it. So, if we're going to go there, we're going to take the second team, Erliot, in order to save, and Iridia, uh, Idira uh, to find her secret door. So, without further ado, let's land on the planet and uh, kick some Xeno ass. Alright, we landed. Let's get this party started. Let's seize the opportunity. Winterscale's shuttle awaited its owner's return in vain. He left his engines running. I can already see that he will run out of battery. Box broadcast. Error. Attention. Botanical Intriguing. threat level alpha 2. Okay, let's go to the forest. Quesa Timur. The shuttle disappears in the wild vegetation on the island. Several hours pass before the rogue trader finally admits that he has been aimlessly wandering around in circles. Any attempt to get back on track by retracting his steps have failed. Fox communication cannot reach the ship. Now it's become clear how Caligus winter scale could get lost on his own world. Wonderful. The world trembles beneath my feet. Okay. Look no further. <laughs> Would you look at that? I tread a path unexplored. Watch your steps. Oh wow, how could how could there be so many traps here? What is it? That's Xenos, right? Yeah, I figured. Couldn't imagine anyone else My planting a trap here. Inevitable. A trivial task. The okay, so question. Bow. Are we going to the forest or are we going to uh, the forest? Oh, let's just go through the forest, shall we? Not even sure if that makes a huge difference because it seems like we're completely and utterly lost anyways. Part of the forest is obstructed by a thin grey veil emitting a barely audible click. Uh, the translucent curtain ripples and starts moving in the direction of the rogue trader. Upon closer inspection, uh, inspection the veil turns to be woven by many threats carried by fast flying bugs. The hive attacks the intruder, then retreats into the foliage, leaving behind um, burning, itching bites. Ooh, okay. Well, we found ourselves uh, apparently a shuttle of sorts. The winter scale search shuttle crashed during the landing. Neither the pilot nor the scouting team survived. Well, then you guys don't mind me taking your stuff, would you? That's unfortunate. Embrace true power. Lush overgrown, uh, blocking the way back. Okay. Are there more goods hidden somewhere? Intriguing. Let's this is really a difficult uh, place to uh, to get through. The world trembles okay, let's go. Feet. Let's go, boys. The forest high glasses an entire day. In the golden rays of dusk, the rogue crater sees a small hill, uh, crowned with an aquilia, a double-headed eagle totem made from the plasteel and the rock crete com uh, comp uh, components of an ancient ship. 
The foot on the hill provides much less uh, scenic view, however the soil stained uh, brown from all of uh, the flesh smeared upon it in contrast by the only white sparks of bone shards mixed up with dried blood. Okay, wait, 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 wait what? Aldari Guardians? Okay. Um, a long talk. How about Iliad? What advice do you seek? Whatever you wish. Okay. My patience has its Are limits. they friendly or hostile? That's a good question. Oh, Alderi and Ishtar. Uh, the Monke will pay for their suffering. Suffering? Their spirit stones are shattered, Shishteren, and she who thirsts has long finished her feast. We will destroy them. Every Monke who did that. Did you hear me? Uh, did you hear that? The soul destroyers are back. Kine. Fill our hearts with fury. Filth, witless what? Can't even talk to them? Oh, come on. Alright. Saiken so gets the first turn. Uh, then it's Iridia. And then we're already having a lot of 450 hit points, 600 hit points targets. Oh boy, we've gotten ourselves into a pr pretty much of a situation here. Alright, Iridia, I need you're getting guidance. like one turn to basically ignite yourself. Can I fall back now? On it. Buff Saiken and <sighs> since all of them are going first, I wonder how about we're just putting a back line here. We'll do. Anything else? That'll give everybody dodge. Okay, well. Stop it! Uh, what can we do? What else can we do? Who should get all of those turns? I think if we give them to Abelard, uh, he could charge in and prevent the worst from happening. Destiny. Okay, well, let's do that. Um, everybody here gets brace for impact. And a couple of temporary wounds. And we're doing that. And we're doing that. And we're doing that. Now, Abelard. Um, My place you're is moving up form. here. I will do. My doing that. Okay. Well, that's not great. Indeed. At your back and call. All of you should attack Abelard. He has such a low chance of actually hitting them. Which is potentially because uh, we bu um, be we buffed all of uh, their stats. At your back and call. It will be done. My path won't end here. Good. Their I weapon skill wait. has been thoroughly debuffed, which is great. Saiken moves up here. And it is Jay's turn before anyone else can act. Hmm. 
All right, so with that, uh, we're back. Sorry, needed uh, to interrupt shortly. Um, we got still Iridia, but Jay can act first. But she can't spend an extra action. That's a bit of a problem. Let's get her into the safety here for now. Let's throw a grenade. Watch my back. I said let's throw a grenade. I can do that with the right incentive. No one else is getting impacted uh, by it. Uh, she has the cloak uh, where Abelard is still is simply ignoring it. Um, since Idira goes uh, next, I think we're just going to buff her. Don't get too cocky. Me, never in a thousand sectors. Good, Saiken goes again for whatever reason, but I don't mind uh, because we can use all of the help that we can get. These guys look strong. Um, everybody here gets word of the Emperor, defense, uh, the hammer. And we're doing a little bit of uh, this. I will triumph. I reject the very idea. And a bit of that. One step closer. I said I don't want to help too much. And it's still true, so... Let's just hit them a little bit. Isha. Heal my wounds. Good. Saiken so moves back forward to here. Discord. And we're good. Yeah. Alright, Iridia. Uh, Idira, sorry. Um, <clears throat> moves to here. We are burning. Let me take all of that. Let me mark you. On it. Anything is. Nice hit. I like that. <clears throat> we healed ourselves. Everybody takes extra damage. Burn, burn, burn. And uh, they are burning as well. Good, we're needing a little bit more dodge. Who is the right person to receive that? Uh, Saiken does have forewarning already on him. I think Marazai might be the correct choice here. You know what? Let's go to him. No can do. Okay, and sorry, need to take care of my little one. All right, back. So that was good first hit. Uh, this ranger here has how many? Six hundred hit points. Oh wow. But at least they will burn every single round. Uh, that's a good start. I do not fear a perilous path. Avalar tries to parry all of them and retaliates. But none of his strikes actually did anything. That is unfortunate. Okay, cool. So... There's a trap over here. If it serves your cause. 
Uh, let's get those rangers down first. This tedium is beneath me. Um, let's just reduce their armor. Very good. Uh, we are going to start by doing this, and then that's a lot of damage. Unfortunately, not just not enough. Good. Continue to hunt uh, that ranger. Oh wow! Oh wow! They are hitting like a truck. Good, everybody here gets some healing. Well, that's, that's a lot. Really, it could get that extra attack. Gosh, this is uh, one of the fights where I think Saiken actually needs to help. Elliot um, starts hitting. Dead eye shot kills. We're putting out. Well, this here would be a solid hit. This here, however, we need to get the Rangers down. Okay, this could be a kill. Yep, we claimed the bounty and immediately got our actions back. This tedium is beneath me. All of them are ranged characters, right? Yeah. Gosh, that's a lot. If it serves your cause. Good. Saiken's turn. Hitting those uh, three uh, worked very well. And we're good, she. Damn, we can't even heal Iridia. She's down to one HP. Uh, but what we can do is we can... Uh, move in and uh, start killing these guys. Charge in. Self bleeding. Bit of this and a bit of that. Uh, dodge would be very helpful. I think we're going to use that. So he now has plus 40% dodge because these guys are hitting hard and Marzai can just stand here for now. I think that would be very, very helpful. Uh, you guys are all continuing to attack Abelard. Indeed. And he just one-shot this guy for 200 hit points. Lovely. I like his uh, new retaliatory stance. That's good. Well, 
Uh, unfortunately, Iridia just went down as well. Oh, that's not good. Um... Look, we take that. And that. And that. If I must. And all of a sudden we're at uh, 95%. I understand your favors the swift. Good hit. You almost got them down. Think so. No enemy will my what? My Avalar just got shot down. My hand. What? Purpose guides me. Good. Healing every uh, everybody here. More damage ourselves, and these guys need to die. Good. Moving into full cover, so that they don't shoot at Saiken. Avalar takes a couple of uh, hits, but we're good. Well, the Aldari Rangers are still a problem. Um... Charging in. Is this here until the end of the turn? When we attack it fades. More armor penetration is what I'm looking for. And a little bit more. A little bit more for uh, safety or I still hit like a truck, man oh man. I will be your undoing with grace and manners. It is hand. What a useless plaything. Burn already. Okay, well, well, well. Um We don't have traumas or injuries. Only a 5% chance of hitting uh, them. Good hit. Another hit. Oh, I don't think so. And Marazai is not doing super well. Um, let's do this. Followed by that. Followed by that. And there is the kill we have been looking for. I will not fail the craft world. All right, everybody here receives some healing from the light of the emperor. That and that. We just summoned a Screamer. Not good. How many hit points? 600. But thankfully, the overkill has almost killed that thing as well. for agony. 
that and we're opening and that and there's a potential chance that we hit it nope that's a really unfortunate man it will be done Mortal enemies and hit this guy. Fantastic. Oh wow, that was a hard fight. I needed to uh, steer a little bit with uh, Saiken. Unexplored. State your intention. Take this and stay out of my way. Because we had taken way too much damage. Specifically, these rangers were skills. hardcore. Six hundred hit points a pop. Not your soul. Guess I'm still alive. Our damage was fine, but our defenses were shattered. Um, the world will bow. Guardian long rifle. Uh, that could be something you interrupted my oh, that thoughts. is an upgrade. Range is super good. No, no, no. There we go. Guardian, new rifle. Uh, range is still super good. Two-handed weapon. Nice. Very nice. Okay, a couple more of these, please. And whilst we're at it, um, I very much like the dodging uh, one, so that's there for emergencies and this one here is good for extra movement I need to find the answers the bodies of the Alderis were hacked to pieces with extreme brutality yeah, and uh, their answer to that was extreme brutality themselves. Got ourselves a laser ranged weapon. Hmm, that's a good bit of damage, but I'm not a hundred percent sure if I like the weapon. Speak, Elon Tark. So, that is very good for armor penetration. I think it's not bad. Might as well use it. This weapon has an additional extremely short range two cells and increase uh, and increase the damage fifty percent. Okay, but it also does have a decent range. Uh, but comes at 2 I wander through the AP. Stars. The long rifles are super good. Let's seize the opportunity. To the forest, to the forest. Okay. Hmm. Definitely appears like Powers all of uh, these, um, all of these little intermezzos are just like one small scenario, and then you move on. Hours of wandering bring the rogue trader to tall spa uh, sprawling tree. Something shiny is stuck in the foliage. It recognizes a heavy suit model. Outcast. 
Have you ever wondered why the Arvenian chose to direct you toward your Farseers? Do you not dread the hour when he will return to claim the reward for his aid? My mistakes brought me to the road that leads to the Abyss. If that is the price I must pay for the truth, I will step into the darkness without fear. Success was inevitable. Well, it's one of those... The world will it's one of those uh, uh, paths where we do have multiple options. Quite a few hours pass, something worth uh, noticing finally shows up amidst the dense forest, a pile of charred human bones lying in a shallow pit. Other corpses can be seen in the grass nearby, uh, just as old and charred, distinctly non-human. We got Drukari stuff and a splinter pa a pistol. Intriguing. Okay, this I think we were at this um, crossroad and we took the right uh, side, so now the game the does not allow us to do that again, which is why it leaves, uh, leads us to the other side. Clever way of doing it. Oh, he also has an entourage. Cool, he has a syslog. And, uh, well, don't sheath your eggs yet, my lord. More game rear the end, uh, um, rear their heads, eager to lose them. The mutants of muscle next to the laughing road trader uh, maniacally rolls their shoulders. You recognize the hulking man as Wharton the Grey, arch militant to Culligus of Winterscale. You repeat yourself, Xenos scum. Do you really believe that I will fall for your twi tricks twice? Oh, starborn gracious, allow this priest to speak. The one before you is silence. I will not be fed uh, you to the f uh, forest beasts uh, for one reason or reason only. You still be, or, uh, you might still be of use if you do not, uh, if you do not want to die uh, with these uh, Xenos. Shut your mouth. Would Caligo must have lost his mind, why else would he mistake the Lord Captain for the enemy of humanity? What an intriguing monkey. Uh, I would test whether his abilities matches his audacity. Um, okay, well now he f f uh, finally sees us. Caligo bears his teeth ominously, the old man quickly starts whispering something in a strange uh, seas hell like adornment he wears brown sparks uh, flash uh, in caligo's hair and a cloud of uh, steam suddenly bursts from your mouth loathsome old twig is that you new blood fancy meeting you here what in the void are you doing on my world here to resolve the conflict with the elderi with at least uh, violence as possible uh, then you're somewhat late. As you can see, we hunt, uh, the hunt has already begun. And this time I'm not uh, even on my doing. The prey came uh, to fill my hunting grounds by itself. You know, your Lordship of Valencius, why don't you join me in the revelry? I'm not greedy. The world has enough trophies for both of us. We're assessing his condition. Unsurprisingly, at your first meeting, Cal uh, Caligo's winter scale appeared before you in a more favorable light. However, under the layer of dried blood and dirt... You still notice a strange detail. The rogue trader appears neither wounded nor exhausted, having spent a good 30 nights in the forest of Quenza. Winterscale has merely swapped his dazzling smile for a feral grin and drenched himself in the blood, uh, blood of his enemies. As we inspect the others, the, thi uh, the thin old man uh, looks like uh, trusted violet eyes and you notice silvery sparking glimmers. He nods with a meager smile. Magos Gilenta Zeta, a panicked, bin heroic thrill, escapes from under the tech priest's hood when one of her Mercandries goes limp, sparking in multiple places. Servant of the Omnissiah gently picks it up, wearing the wheels of a combi tool until the manipulator starts moving again. 
The tall navigator uh, Trevor Kasani is wrecked in clothes silk and silvery, so that seems to be the navigator. Uh, the navigator nods politely, though he tries to hide it. His voice is filled with pain and suffering. Uh, the Slith mercenary looks around viciously, frenetically clutching the weapon. The body is prepped uh, with wounds both old and new, some rotting, some almost healed. Uh, the yellow pup uh, pupils narrow when you look at his eyes, but the Xenos quickly lose his interest. Warden the Grey uh, has not changed much since the last meeting. Still the same brood of a man with bloodshot eyes in his expression. However, unlike uh, Caligos, the other servants, the Arch Militant does not uh, look exhausted, neither does Caligos. Should I ask you a few questions? Really? I should like the tenderest sea serpent steak and a bottle of Calixian's Amasac. What a misery. Uh, the ten moons already... Uh, mm, I have been forced to uh, subsist on grass roots and insect larvae. Save your questions for later, Saiken. I'm not talkative when hungry. Let's uh, find a way to the old man's village. Then I'll give you an audience. Speak with gods. The forest home of the priests and people had always been full of wisdom and life. All right. Uh, all right, then the first order of business is to return to the priest of the heart of the forest and calm his rage. Well, what are you waiting for, new blood? I wandered these forests for 30 nights and did not find a way out of this twig village. We'll see if you bring us better luck. Move out. Find a way out of the jungle. Would you look well, at that? It's done. The fruits gathered bodies have been salvaged and gnawed at by the local wild, uh, wildlife. Powers unseen, uncover my Okay, house. we can either go there or we're going in uh, deeper. Let's explore what we can find here first. I tread a path unexplored. This over there very much looks like a bit of civilization. Embrace true power. And this is uh, where they came from, so... Let's go deeper into the forest. The ir irresistibly sweet aroma of fruit teases the rogue trader's olfactory senses, especially after so many hours of sniffing humidity of the forest. But after locating the source of the aroma, he decides against tasting the appetizing fruit. Several mummified corpses lie under the fruit tree. Their withering faces a testament of agony, their bodies covered in dark wounds resembling bites of agony. That's an interesting way of going out. A job for me. Look at the goods. We got. Uh, whilst the wearer's uh, weapon rate has four or less base rate of fire, the weapon's rate of fire is increased by... Ooh. Ooh. Well, that's not a bad uh, backpack. I'm not sure if our space marine can, uh, can take that, but that would be a good trinket for them. I think the Astati Bolter has a rate of fire of three. Good, we got another Crucible of Torment. I think uh, one is enough of these weapons. The world will bow.
Good. The making of the containers date back 500 Terran years. Okay. Well, I think uh, this is just getting a little bit closer, but the we aren't there yet. Beneath my feet. Unseen, uncover my path. We get it, all of them. I divine on it. How may I serve the Dina? Okay, so hmm. intriguing. Iridia didn't follow. Is that it? Oh, come on. All right, I need to fix that. All right, after a bit of uh, replaying, we finally made it. Apparently, a party member can get stuck and then you cannot move either forwards nor backwards, which is really unfortunate. The trek amongst the monotonous, uh, monotonous forest landscape becoming dull. The rogue trader's wary eyes are ready to close. Uh, of their own accord when uh, an unusual sound in the forest are interrupted by blood curring scream. The cries are drawing closer and closer. Then the source finally appears, a small creature with a sleek black fur and a long tail. We have seen that creature before. My feet. We have seen she it before. My thoughts. Too hard for a simple monkey? Hey, what's that? Good, got another cloak. Each of the wearer's critical hits made with a ranged weapon increases their melee damage. Okay, that's interesting. That's indeed quite interesting. We haven't had a lot of yours. hybrid builds. Matter of fact, the only one is Ulfar to a degree. <laughs> a trivial task. Speak, Elantark. Pain and Stake your intention. Go hand in hand. Take this and stay out of my way. Yeah, field medicine at its finest. Good. Let's and open this one. Expected result. Got another nice little uh, sniper rifle here. And our known soldiers remains. The world will bow. Good. We can either go to here or we're going over the bridge. I'm not even sure if the game leads you in circles but apparently it Intriguing. does i must tell you lord captain that the crew were dismayed and confused to learn that you'll see gosh now we were went in in circles all right so we fast forwarded a little bit uh not much but caligo's winter scale and the others have asked us uh, to go and help them with their hunt 15% demolition potentially not going to work out oh look at that we went right into another trap winter scale and his major is coming for uh, forward the Farseer instructed me to send you away, monkey. The smooth voice of the Xeno sounds in place of a rough wilderness like Quista Termar. However, I recently stopped meekly heeding the council. And besides, uh, there is my sister amongst you. I'm curious what the outcast message is. 
Okay, we got Nocturne again, and the dude from the Komarak. Uh, we're not going to read uh, through his uh, lyrics. I don't know about you, Saiken, but these Xenos bastards are giving me the creeps. This one in Dabbled Mortley, I want to kill him right now. Examine the camp. The Xenos made their camp of the ruins of an ancient city. Only alien growth of the tech, uh, Xenotech and the wreckage of an Alderi ship disturbed the picture. Despite the meager weapon, uh, need the Xenos are ready to attack any moment. I'm here to resolve this conflict peacefully. A tapestry, complex in peace, and one that many threads demand for warp and weft. Caligo is winter scale, and I do not. A glorious chase must end in a glorious battle. I will put the horned one's head above my hollow fireplace. And as for the shiny one, I'll just chop his ugly muck into bits. Do you see? All monkeys are the same. Wild, foolish, avaricious, empty shells. There is nothing interesting about them. Your ships are destroyed. Kurag is lost. And so are the Farseers. You sacrifice everything to attack this world. Why? We did not attack this world, Monkey. The last of the Kruderak's uh, children assembled once more to scour the master of flesh, Tervinthius, from the memory of the universe, the Maculus who abducted and tortured the Farseer from our craft's world. Um, we learned that he's hiding on this world. Oh. And the Komarak master of flesh is here. Iliad ignores the veiled confession. Inhales hungrily, doing her best to remain calm. We must destroy him. That's what we're here for, outcasts. Stretch out your hand, grasp the spear of vengeance together with us, and plunge it into the dark hearts of the architects of torment. What are you talking about? I killed Himaculus with my own hands. And you believe a sculptor was so easy to get rid of? The minds of a monkey are dull, dull and undiscerning indeed. All right, so you call purging an entire world a decisive action. Our farseers, those who managed to save, uh, could not name the exact location. Even after our ships have uh, circled around the world for 30th time, something prevented us from seeing the truth, something powerful. And so we decided to do something else, to exterminate the humoculus alongside the world that he has chosen as a refuge. The monkey are flooding the galaxy at the speed of a meteor shower and this world will repopulate eventually. A single world not worth eliminating a powerful enemy that threatens hundreds of such worlds. What do Xenos and fanatical zealots of the Imperium have in common? The answer is simple. Both are uh, willing to sacrifice billions. Marasa, you might hide your anger behind the facade of benevolence all you want, cousin, except you can see straight through you. A dejected, lost, and frightened soul. Are you not worried about the precious path, hmm? Or have you decided to study our arts at least? The Alderi warrior purses uh, his lips and glances Marasa furiously, but uh, does not grace him with a reply. Address Iliad. Iliad wanders from Caligos to the Solitaire, from Solitaire to the Alderi of Warriors and back, an outcast amongst her kin and a stranger like a sorrowful burden. Do you think uh, your kin had solid reason to attack the world? I see no issue. Uh, I see an issue. Both of this is not good, but we're going to stick with her. The Humiculus is the threat to both of our species. Address the Alderi. Tell me about the Homoculus. Where is he? I will not stand, say a word until let my kin depart from this world. Uh, lay down your weapons. I promise to judge uh, you fairly. You're getting out of line, Psyche Inquisitor. Mare is my world and my demise. I've already passed the sentence of these Xeno bastards. We are not looking for justice, monkey. We're yearning for retribution.
examine the camp. All right, address Caligos. I do not support the methods of the Xenos, but I understand their motives. Uh, perhaps they could pay you compensation. Caligos, you should not kill the Alderi. But what? Why? Um, look at yourself, you're becoming a monster who's only desired to kill. Stop tugging at my conscience, I can. You sound vile like uh, incendio from my nightmares made of flesh of rune of moon. Caligos grimaces, uh, grimaces in frustration. Your words seem to not have angered but upset him. Um, let's try commerce. Oh, we succeeded. There has been less prey in the expanse after your arrival. New blood, the Xenos hold useful information about distant stars. Uh, this is a reason to consider your offer. presume there is no um, avoiding. I will finish what I started. I do not believe a single word, Zeno's well. Uh, you lost your world. Uh, that's not going to go well. Uh, we're siding with the Xenos. I think I can strike a deal with the Xenos with you. Not so much. Temporary alliance, so be it. Children of Asura will fight for the fury of the Kwashal Menja Kane. I knew you were rotten to the core in your blood. I'm not surprised. The more trophies, the better. Well, Winter Scale, this is where you go down. This is where you go down. Did he just really sacrifice someone in order to let demons in? Lots of blood letters. And Caligus Winter Scale is buffed with 1,800 hit points. You know what? This is such a good cliffhanger. We're going to continue here the next time. Thanks a lot for watching. And see you on the next episode, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.